Hello and welcome to the fresh episode of Tech Quantum. Now in our previous videos, we created a basic flow based on a Microsoft template. Now before we proceed to more advanced flows, in this particular video, I want to create one more flow based on Microsoft template, but in this case, we are going to see how we can send an email for a new tweet about a certain keyword. So keep watching and stay tuned. All right, so here we are in our Power Automate environment. And what we want to do is search for a template and based on the template, create a flow. So over here, I will go to create and then in search all templates, I can search for um, something called uh, Twitter. All right, so let's see what is a good example. So, well, over here, we can use this example where we want to send an email for new tweets about a certain keyword, okay? So just click on this. And over here, you can see that uh, the template by Microsoft is already prepared um, and given to us. So what it does is it sends an email for tweets about a keyword that you are interested in. And Flow will send out an email every time there's a tweet about your keyword along with some basic user details. All right. So we have our template with us. So let's just go ahead and uh, configure this Flow and run it. So let's go ahead and connect to our connector. So over here, the email. It's already been configured because it has taken the valid connections based on what I have already been signed in as. Okay, so it will send the email to this particular email ID. Now let's connect to the Twitter and you can click on the plus sign over here and we need to authorize the app for this connector to work in. All right, so we can provide our credentials over here and then authorize the app. And then you can see that the account over here is now connected. All right. So we can click on continue. And then over here, you can see the flow diagram where you can see that the whole flow has all been set up for us. So we need to go ahead and provide some parameters so that this flow can work. And in this flow diagram, you can see so many things like so many variables. Uh, and obviously the question would be how these variables work. So in our upcoming videos, we will certainly discuss about those advanced features as well. So let's just go ahead and provide some parameters. So what it does is when it gets triggered by a search text. So for example, you can specify something like if somebody provides a search text like, um, let's say, Power Automate, all right? Or maybe I can also search for something called as hashtag tech quantum. All right. So once this has been triggered, um, it gets the information of the user who has tweeted that and then pass it on uh, to the email connector, which then emails it to the recipients. So over here, um, let me just provide um, some email IDs. For example, I can provide this particular Microsoft account, which is my demo account. And then I can also provide my personal email ID. Um, so once that is done, obviously these are the subjects and the body. And you can see that based, it is a combination of text and variables. Um, so we will certainly be using more variables in our upcoming videos. But if you want to know what uh, these variables, variables mean, you can actually click on that. And then it takes you to the dynamic content where you can actually go down and see what um, this means. So the tweet text is nothing but the text content of the tweet. Similarly, tweeted by, which is over here, is the name of the user who has posted the tweet. So you can find some information about those variables. All right, so over here, our flow is uh, almost ready. And what we can do is we can click on save. All right, and the next thing is that we should check our flow checker. So let me just check that and you can see that there are no errors. Actually, I should have checked that before saving, but uh, there are no errors anyways. Okay, so we can go back to our flow. So when we go back to our flow, we can see uh, some informations about the flow and the status is on. And right now, since uh, we have not run it, so, um, you know, there is a new history over here. All right, so here you can see that I have tweeted something uh, about Power Automate. Um, just saying Power Automate is awesome and also included the hashtag. Now, these are the keywords that we are looking for, okay? So we have tweeted about this. 
Now, this might take some time to come up because this is not uh, uh, an instant trigger that happens. It is something uh, that is scheduled that runs uh, quite regularly in the background. And then it goes through all the posts and sees that, uh, you know, if there is any post that meets our criteria of the keywords that we are looking for. And once it finds it, it will run the flow and then give us the results. So we might have to wait for a while to see the results over here. Okay, so over here we can see that there are a couple of fronts that have been taken place. So what I actually also did was um, I went into edit and just to run it, uh, you know, I clicked on test and ran it manually over here. Okay, so if you want, you can wait or you can, you know, for testing purposes, you can use the um, test mechanism as well. Okay, so let's just uh, see that what has happened. So you can see that the uh, flow has run successfully. So let's just go ahead and see if we have received an email. Over here, you can see that, you know, there is a new tweet about, uh, uh, you know, Power Automate is awesome and, uh, you know, and hashtag tech quantum. And then, you know, you can see that uh, this is the tweet and the link so you can click on it and go to the tweet as well and again i ran the test flow from my side so um, we have received this uh, email as well and you can see that it has gone to the system administrator email that i have as my demo account and also to my personal email okay so i hope you have got an idea with this particular video on how you can create a flow based on Microsoft templates. So why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself and see how it works. Bye for now.